I welcome all of you on platform of Europedia Education and uh, let me answer this question. Should civil engineers uh, join the courses in various institute for higher education, MS, MTech, PhD, etc. And why I am asking this question because in comparison to computer science, electronics, electrical, instrumentation, mechanical engineering, even chemical engineering material science production all these branches in comparison to these branches the placement situation of civil engineer uh, placement opportunities for civil engineers is lesser i mean opportunities are lesser in these institutes if i tell you uh, this year 2022 placements are going on and for computer science electronics mechanical i can very safely say the placements are more than 80 90 percent and students are placed and average packages are 15 lakh, 20, 25 lakh depending upon institutes which you are watching regular videos. For civil engineers, these placements opportunities are 30%, 40%, maximum 50, 60% in institutes. Another difference is in the package. The package of civil engineers in core, there are only handful of companies which come like LNT etc. companies come like 5, 6 lakh packages to start with and then non-core may if they get into non-core that is 10 lakh plus so should they join and why what is the reason of less placement first i will tell you why less placements answer is civil engineers normally have multiple opportunities and options for government jobs if you see any government state government job assistant engineer junior engineer public sector also so you will find opportunities for civil engineers ssc etc especially states and all they offer a lot of jobs for civil engineers and students keep on preparing and they get selected also so civil engineers get a lot of government jobs that is in the mind of civil engineers and hence they keep on preparing for those jobs and uh, placement in private sector is not the option they don't keep that option number two they are not interested in non-core jobs like coding cyclia or data analytics they are not that interested because government jobs are there so why do they join and why they should join do they join masters yes in fact, last year maximum students which Europedia mentored were civil engineers and they are in top institutes now. But what happens is in between they keep on getting the opportunities because last year whatever students we sent, so after two months, three months we started getting the news, you know, that's how we got into Rajasthan, uh, this AN job, we got Rajasthan jobs, we got Punjab Public Service Commission, we got Bengal, we got in different states, uh, Jammu and Kashmir, Jal Shakti. So we keep on getting news that sir thanks a lot we have got selected in this particular and maximum interviews also they are facing uh, preparation they are doing with your PD and they keep on getting it that means during mtech two years or master ms for 2.5 years or phd that is four years duration they keep on exploring the options and they keep on getting that so the batch which is of uh, 20 50 20 students 15 20 out of that 15 20 5 6 students do not even complete mtech they get the jobs government jobs and then go it now this thing uh, motivates them to prepare for government jobs and they do not put much focus on placements no doubt they may be doing good in mtech i mean they are getting scoring more in mtech but they do not focus on placements since they do not focus on placement even placement sell if you want to get jobs agar tumhe jobs leni hai bulani hai to tumhe companies ko batana padega you are not interested in job that placement sell also knows of your college and companies also know so neither companies are interested nor placement cell is interested to make you place because you are not working with placement cell you don't show interest the kind of mechanical guys or electronics computer guys they are chasing the companies they are talking to the companies companies are coming you are coordinating civil engineers don't do that and that is the reason placements are less so should i go sir answer is yes you should go and you go also why because average graduate takes three to four years to get government job normally i am telling you that is not because you are capable you are not capable that is because the seeds frequency of advertisement of jobs is like that now what is happening is because of uh, elections and all as elections stunt maximum government state governments are advertising jobs only once in a five year and that to bumper jobs like we have seen in jammu and kashmir we have seen in punjab we are seeing in many states you know like uh, uttar pradesh bihar and all bihar mean that jobs for teachers assistant professors seats have come so these kind of jobs are coming only once in five years 
so that means you need to be patient for three to four years or five years so now think of a student who is waiting for five years don't you think the gap will be huge you cannot go to private sector because you cannot prepare the moment you join job in private sector you cannot prepare so five years gap is a huge gap you can't justify in the interview then what is to be done then what is to be done then you are to basically bridge that gap so after two years of preparation you go for masters in two years gap is bridged number two you get scholarship number three you get ambience NIT Kurukshetra you are sitting and preparing ambience is good number four you get a group to prepare you get library facilities and all and you know once you have done mtech nicely there is always option for higher education abroad there are so many jobs in phd which you get in europe and all that is also one of the options for you maybe you joined junior engineer or assistant engineer then you realize this is not your cup of tea then if you have done mtech you can go abroad and do job after btech you cannot do job after mtech you can go and do job abroad that is also one of the options so there are many advantages why you do ms now you should take this decision very cautiously because in civil engineering also there are placements i simply end up my this small video on this information which may be very crucial for you nit kurukshetra you have heard the name people choose structures then they choose transportation and then so on and environment and geotech there is a renewable energy department also in which mechanical and civil can join this year the placement in renewable energy is almost 50 percent so far they are placed and core companies for them so this information should be known that sir can you tell me some department in which placement is also there and i can study i can get time also to prepare and if i go abroad i will get very good opportunities also if i go abroad then i'll get very good salary in the phd also that is a decision you have to take that is where your pdi is going to help you so i i believe this is video banaya may be helpful to you and now keep listening to many students and your pdi is where aapke sare students se interaction karwayega jo maine aapko bataya nit kurukshetra mein environment science mein sorry aapka renewable energy mein 50% placement ho chuka hai so this is i am not telling from my own you know uh, this thing uh, from my own mind i am telling this because some student told me who is doing this and got the placement so i will make you contact with such students who will tell you more about that they know more than me the students who is sitting in renewable energy and nit kurukshetra will be knowing more than me obviously so he will tell you more so that interaction will also be done keep utilizing your time very efficiently there are so many options for technocrats engineers only thing is you have to make a strategy a very efficient strategy all the best